Hey guys, what's going on everybody? This is Alex and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys uh, Vertex. Vertex is a city tweak uh, that allows you to uh, re-enhance your control center making it much easier for you to work your control center and put your task uh, switcher into one place in total. If we take a closer look here we have two different tasks. If you notice we have a task switcher on top and our control center laid out with a few different icons on the bottom. Uh, the icons do come with separate features such as airplane mode, the auto lock, Bluetooth on or off, uh, the do not disturb mode and the flashlight which does toggle the flashlight on or off. We also have our brightness adjuster as well as our music controls down below right there. Our brightness uh, uh, slider does work 100% and we have our music controls down below. On the top we have our task switcher which allows us to basically just get rid of our applications just by sliding up on the application just like that. Do not slide on the icon you have to slide in the middle of the application because that's the only way it will work just like that and when you tap on the application the application will open and you will be able to play that application for a limited time or for until you want to close it and then you can slide up and down as well as you want. We also have the option of going to the mail and doing all the different applications. So all this does is it puts your task switcher into your control center and makes a combination of two that way making it easier for you to uh, make your control and switching easier. This also does prevent wear on the home button because you don't have to uh, double tap the home button. All you do is just slide up from the bottom of the screen and uh, use your task switcher. Now there are a few different settings that you can configure for Vertex. If we take a closer look into Vertex settings, you have your toggle switch enable or not enable. Uh, and the cool thing about this is do you not no respring effect required, so you don't have to respring every time you put a setting on. We also have the swipe up gesture, which I recommend you have switched on. That way you don't not wear out your home button. We have a switch corners and the gray background, which all this does is it puts a background on your toggle uh, control center making it gray instead of showing your uh, background that's just in a blurred uh, mode. If we take a closer look here we also have uh, round card corners which all that does if you take a look we have 90 degree corners and when we turn on round corners 90 degree, 90 degree corners and then when we turn on round corners we're gonna have slightly curved or edged corners um, about like this. So I, my personality in my opinion I think the uh, standard uh, corners, 90 degree corners look better, I look more professional, but if you guys one of those people that likes round stuff, go ahead and click on that on because that will enable. You also have a different amount of toggles you can switch on or off such as the rotation, rotational lock, settings, VPN, and Wi-Fi. As you notice, the Wi-Fi did get taken away from the settings, so if you just want to have airplane mode but Wi-Fi is turned off, then just do that. We also have the paging to be horizontal or and or vertical uh, depending on how you have that configured. We also have the return to start which is basically the first set of toggles every time that vertex is launched. So that's pretty much all the settings for vertex and that's pretty much it for today guys. Thanks for watching this guys video. If you guys like this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content if you're not already doing that. Thanks for watching this video guys. See you in my next one. Until next time guys. Peace.